the Sculpto Pro 2, a bipolar 3D printer which looks a little bit like a record player and giving you some weird grooves. Here on Zachary's 3D prints. Hello, my name is Zachary and in this video we are going to talk about the Sculpto Pro 2. A few weeks ago I did a live stream unboxing a first print because you don't really need to assemble everything. You Take it out of the box, you hook it up on the DC power supply or some power brick. You need to assemble this acrylic filament spool holder, which is looking very sexy to me. I do like it. But yeah, some people can break this, so it's also fragile at the same time. When you are going to use the Sculpto, you need to download the Sculpto app from the app store or the play store the google play store i don't know then after that you need to register after that is done you can start using the app but first you need to hook this printer up to your wi-fi if you follow the steps in the app then your printer gets connected to your local wi-fi after that is done you need to log in into a thingy first account in order to get your models imported from Thingiverse directly in Sculpto. However, you don't need to use a Thingiverse account. You can also import some STL files from yourself. One of the things you can do is using the web app. It's basically the same thing as your phone, but there you can get some files from your computer onto the Sculpto app in order to get something printed. The printing results I'm going to talk about a little bit later, but first let's check this machine. Like mentioned, it's a bipolar 3D printer. Printing volume of this machine, it's round of course, but you can also print squares on a round surface. And I can tell you, it is looking weird. Why did I bought this bipolar machine? Well, because it was a bipolar machine, and the movement is different than a normal FDM Cartesian Delta or Core XY 3D printer or even a resin printer. I thought that this machine was going to look amazing when you are going to conventions or some other places where you can show off what a bipolar 3D printer can do. One of the things that I noticed during the live stream was that this machine requires the filament of Sculpto itself because using unauthorized filament can result in bad printing quality, mechanical failures, shortened lifespan of the printer and worst case scenario which I think it's uh, crazy warranty can be avoided. I probably will not be the first one that is going to mention this but this kind of printers come on guys if you are using something like this, you don't want to buy 33 euros for a spool of PLA filament, especially because it's a filament that only Sculpto printers can be used with. I mean, it's like buying a BMW and saying that you only can fuel from Shell or else your warranty gets void for your car, something like that.
So what do I think about this machine? The fact that I am doing a sort of review about this machine earlier than planned, this machine is going back. I don't want to use this printer on my channel. There are several reasons why. One of them is the, sli uh, the way of things are being sliced. You have to use a app, which can be nice, but it doesn't have any functionalities to improve the printing. Well, only a few little switches that you need to switch over to, you know, get some better results. There is no USB. Well, maybe on the board, but not on the machine itself. So you cannot hook this printer up to your uh, laptop or PC. And there's also no SD card. So if I use, for example, Prusa Slicer, I cannot use that on this machine. So I always have a little problem. And I think in Prusa Slicer are some bipolar machines, right? I'm not sure. Please leave in the comments if there are some bipolar printers on Prusa Slicer. There are no controls here. So you always have to rely on your mobile phone. If there are some other issues with your Wi-Fi connection, you're pretty much screwed because if the print is finished, you can not do anything. You cannot see the status. It's, it's difficult. And also, uh, some other thing, um, fan duct. I have tried to uh, make a little fan, fan duct based with some uh, painter's tape in order to get a better second print, but also that didn't help anything at all. For me, the reason to send this 3D printer back because no upgradable parts here possible. It's a custom board as far as I know. There are no SD card and no USB connector on the side. You can only use the app in order to let this printer print. It prints not even nice. However, if you like to experiment with this kind of machine and you see some possibilities to upgrade this machine, then check the link in the description because in some ways I do like the design of the printer. There are only some issues that needs to be improved. As you can see, it's the first time that I'm going to send something like this back to the manufacturer. I hope it's also going to be the last time to make a point that something like this, it is looking nice, it, it's looking beautiful, but there are some flaws in it that makes this a very difficult printer to work with, in my opinion. So uh, I know Joel has also such kind of machine, uh, maybe some other people as well that having this machine and maybe no problems at all, but in my case, I got some issues that I do want to see improved in a future version. 